Do you know what to do when your gym gear gets stuck with pesky stains after your workout? Well, there's an easy way to get rid of them. Take two aspirin tablets, crush them, and then add warm water. Proceed to apply the mixture to the stains and let it work its magic for about 2 hours. Wash as normal afterward, and it should do the trick. On the same refreshing note, you can keep your fridge smelling nice and clean using newspaper. I mean literally, not by browsing for the nearest cleaning company to help you with your chores. Just place some newspaper sheets in the bins of your fridge. They can absorb some moisture, keeping the fridge smelling nicer for longer. Do you know how oranges or lemons usually come in a mesh bag? Next time you're in for some citrus, don't be so quick to throw that bag away. Just tie it together to fashion a DIY loofah, perfect for scrubbing pots and pans. Not to mention, it's way more delicate on both the dishes and your hands than a regular metallic scrubber. Now, if you're like me, you don't like to carry many things around when going out in the warmer season since you'll be melting from the heat anyway. Just use a binder clip if you need a nice trick to keep all your cash together. It's way smaller than a regular wallet if you don't want to carry all your cards and IDs on a short trip to the supermarket. Now, while you're there, do you notice those huge round balls that are scattered around store entrances and parking lots? They look more like statues than anything else. They're called concrete bollards and were initially made out of massive tree trunks to protect pedestrians from traffic. But soon enough, urban architects figured out that these immense objects needed to be more pleasing to the eye to blend in easily with the city landscape. They're now made from steel rebar encased in concrete, and they can come in very different shapes and sizes, depending on the area and the surrounding architecture. Manufacturers can now personalize them to fit any location. I've seen some shaped like cubes, some like pyramids, or even ones that were so tailored to their surrounding architecture that they look like literal pieces of art. But the most common ones are round, since this can fit in well everywhere. They're also used to protect specific cycling traffic or block vehicles from entering or exiting places in the wrong spots. Mm. However, those you see in front of supermarkets are there to keep shoppers at a safe distance from the cars moving around in the parking lots. They also help reduce the risk of distracted drivers accidentally rolling right into the building or entrances. Oops, my bad! Traveling with toiletries or makeup can sometimes become quite a hassle, especially when traveling by airplane. Did you know your glasses case can double up as a holder? Sure thing, place as many of these items inside as they can fit, just so that the lid still closes. It's a neat way of ensuring you don't mess up your entire luggage and an excellent way to keep them all in the same place. Now, I love a midnight snack just as much as you do, but I always got caught because most doors in my house just kept squeaking on me. Wonder what I did to help? Well, I sprayed some cooking spray on those door hinges, and the noise just disappeared. Now, if you're trying to cut softer foods like cheese, mousse, or cake, but don't have a thin knife lying around the house, use a piece of floss. Just make sure to use the unflavored type that's also non-waxed. I mean, who likes mint-flavored cheddar anyway? Now, cooking with different oils can be fun and help out with the flavors of your dishes. But those oil stains can be tough to remove, especially from leather fabrics. If that does happen, what you can do is use diapering powder. Put some powder on the stained piece of leather and let it sit overnight. It should soak up all the oils in the fabric. Then wash as per the garment instructions. But hey, oils are not always the bad guys in the house. For example, you can use olive oil to refresh those stainless steel items you've forgotten about in your pantry. Put a bit of olive oil on a cotton cloth and gently wipe over your spoons or forks. It should help bring back the shine, making them look brand new. Hmm, I never thought you could use bread to clean out stuff in your house. But here's a nice trick. You can scrub out painted or wallpapered walls with a slice of bread. Just make sure not to use the crust, as that part might leave some stains on. And I'd skip the peanut butter, too. Ah, it's just a joke. Potted houseplants are more than just decorative. 
they can help out with the air quality inside a room or, based on their size, even provide a bit of shade now and then. And there's an organic fertilizer in them hidden in your pantry right now. Just use tea bags for it. It should work wonders on your plants. Now, I'll bet you don't like it when you come out of a hot shower and can't see yourself in the mirror because of the steam. Believe it or not, toothpaste can help with that. Just make sure to use the kind that's non-gel-like. Apply a coat of toothpaste to the mirror and wipe it off before you get in the shower. It should help with defogging your bathroom mirror quickly and easily. Most shirts and dresses come with extra buttons these days, most likely hidden somewhere near the tag. Don't be so quick to throw them away, though. Not only will they come in handy if one of those buttons might go missing, but they can also double up as earring holders, especially if you're looking to travel with these delicate pieces of jewelry. They'll be all in one place and be safe from other objects in your luggage. All pizza fans know that homemade pizza dough is way better than those you find in the store. But if your kitchen isn't equipped with a rolling pin, you don't have to worry just yet, and you can still enjoy a great pizza. Just grab any medium-sized glass bottle. Just be sure to wipe it clean before it touches the dough, but trust me, it's just as good as a standard rolling pin. Ice cream scoopers come in different colors, but it's not just for their looks. They're manufactured like that to represent the size of each scoop. You can also figure out how many scoops it will take to fill 32 ounces by their color. Mmm, 32 ounces of ice cream. Let's just take a moment to consider. Okay, I'm done. Exit signs on freeways are a lot more helpful than you think. They don't just signal the next exit, and they can also help you identify if you need to take a left or right exit off the freeway. Just look at the positioning of the numbered exit sign. For example, if the number is located on the left of the sign, you'll exit left. Ever thought about what's inside your can of shaving cream? You know, apart from the shaving cream itself? The mixture isn't directly placed inside the metal bottle. It's initially added in a metallic pouch, then folded up and added to the can. These items are sometimes used for stress relief or for fashionable purposes, depending on your preference. But did you know what slap-on bracelets are made of? I was just as surprised as you to figure out they're manufactured out of old tape measures. A coating material is added to the measuring tape to create this accessory. Because of how flexible they are, it helps them stick to your wrist. You know, you're most likely carrying a sandwich in your wallet, and you don't even know it. They may not be literal food, but U.S. quarters have a layered composition. While the outside is made of nickel and copper, giving them their signature silver coloring, the inside is purely made of copper, making it brown. One fine use for those quarters is utilizing a bunch of them to buy 32 ounces of ice cream. Hmm, how do you feel about chocolate?